Earlier this week, I had the privilege of visiting Sunny Hills School in East Auckland to view their makerspace and tinkerspace. This is what they showed me. Welcome to this fantastic space where you can create many Lego designs on the wall. We encourage students to make lots and lots of Lego creations so we can keep them up to inspire others to come and make their own creations on our Lego walls. At lunchtime, kids come in here and play with the M-Bots. They program them and then they are able to take them down here and then see if they go. Oh, we need to try again with that programming. These ones are like at lunchtime you can like book yourself for Ozma um, Makerspace and Mbots and like at lunchtime you can come over instead of playing outside and you can use these tags to see what you're working at. You can see what you're working at um, Mbots or I'm working, working on Ozma or I'm working at the Unmakerspace so yeah, you can come at lunchtime and play with these. Unless if you like, you didn't put your name down, but you have to put your name down to come here, and you have to put the tags on. The library's a hive of activity this lunchtime. We've got children reading on our new seats. We've got dominoes. We've got drawing. We've got kids here on our robotics station. We've got children over here on the Osmo and we've got our maker space and maker space here being occupied as well today very busy Sunny Hills. I'm Justine Driver, the principal, and I've been principal here for two and a bit years. One of the things that um, I worked with initially with a team of teachers was to create this Unmaker Maker Tinker Space, whatever you'd like to call it, a creativity hub in, within our library. So a team of educators, one afternoon we came and we moved around a few library shelves. Uh, originally there were computers in this area, but we wanted to make a space so that students could um, build on the skills that they were learning in Tinker Time within their classroom program. So we have a space here for our MBOTs, we have our booking system, we have our table here for unmaking where children are able to unmake things 
we get donations from the community of um, items to take away. Normally at lunchtime, sitting on here, we have our Osmos, and currently in class, students are learning how to use Tinkercad so that we can utilize our 3D printer. All of this also is um, about storage, and so we store everything nice and handy and close by in these cupboards. And then we moved the uh, computers over to this space as a central hub to have a, a, a search and seek centre. So all of this was actually kitted out fairly reasonably. For under $400 one evening I was able to go to Kmart, just grabbed a few decorations, uh, $15 seats for the kids to sit on, um, you know, stools that don't need to be expensive ones, height for the high tables, I think they were about $30. Uh, safety goggles, we got them from a um, safety shop for free because we said we were a school. And just all the little knickknacks that we got around just to spruce it up and make it look child-centred. Along with the bunting and things along the top and the flags. Um, just so it made a, an exciting place for our learners to want to be here to um, investigate. Hello everybody, this is um, our Tinker Time rotation kits. So every two weeks, um, each classroom in the, our senior school gets a different kit. And each of the kits has a photo on the front telling you what should be in it, plus a list of everything that should be in it so that we can make sure everything stays nice. Um, for this one with the Makey Makey, we get um, instructions on um, just to get the basics going so that the children can get it going. We've got Sphero, Breakout, Ollie, and Mbots, which rotate through the classroom. So everything's in kits, so it's all get well and everyone knows where everyone is. Mm -hmm.